Hi guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to use the offset feature, which is going to be pretty helpful for us to create this windshield piece. Um, you'll notice that I already have my rectangular piece drawn. Okay, this is the outer rim. As I look at this piece here, in fact, let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, oh, going too far. There we go. It's the outer rim of this piece right here. I've already got it created and I've already got it dimensioned. I do not have the little tabs in there. We're going to do that last. Okay, so I just have a rectangular with filleted edges, and I want to know then, notice that all I had to do then is the same shape on the inside, except it's a little bit smaller, right? So how thick is that is that piece? That would be what we want to know. It's not 0.07, that's this outside rim, that's the actual windshield. So if I come up here a little bit, you'll notice that if I look at it from this view, it says that each of those pieces is 0.05 inches thick. So that's the difference, right? That's the thickness of this piece right here that I'm hovering over with my cursor. So let's come over here, and we're going to use what's called the offset tool. It's right here, and all I have to do to use the offset tool is go and click on it. I click on the shape that I want to offset, and then I just drag it inside a little bit. It doesn't matter how far I drag it, that is going to be good enough. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll use the dimensioning tool to go ahead and click, click, and dimension that to be a thickness of 0 0.05. I hit enter and I already have that piece created. So that's a pretty slick way to go ahead and create that second rectangle as opposed to trying to draw them all yourself. So hopefully that helps. Uh, it's a quick little video. In the next uh, video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do those tabs and we're going to use the mirror feature and some construction lines in order to make those tabs quickly and easily.